Okay. Okay. So let's just um, settle whatever's been going on today. Try and bring your mind to the same place your body is. And you can check your position. Starting at the feet. Just work your way up. Check your sit bones. If you're sitting in that kind of a cross-legged position, make sure your sit bones are raised. If you have tight hips, you can put something underneath either knee, shoulders, align with the hips. And just lengthen your spine. Imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. So just all the spine lengthening, space in between the vertebrae, just lengthening all the muscles, lengthen the cervical spine, the, the neck. So just imagine putting some space there. And then just tip the head forward very gently, hinge it forward, and the eyes would be down. Looking along the length of the nose, they were open. And just relax the jaw. And bring your awareness to the crown of the head and relax the scalp and the forehead and the eyes, the nose, the mouth. Relax the back of the head at the occipital bone. Release any tension there. Relax the ears, the inner ear, the temples, the jaw, back of the neck. Just allow your shoulders to drop down on your shoulder blades. Release any tension in your throat and chest and belly and all the limbs. So just relax. Release all the tension. Take a nice deep breath. But then... Also make sure you're still aligned. So you're relaxed, aligned, and just imagine you're still lengthening. Okay. So now we try and bring our mind to the same place our body is. And settling yourself like that before you start your practice is kind of a great, a great way to kind of focus in. Because we're so much of our life we spend outside, looking outwards, thinking about the future, what we're going to do tomorrow, my busy weekend, all the shopping I need to do, all the things I have to line up before I even get to eat breakfast tomorrow morning. So just try and bring the mind back to now, here and now, because tomorrow morning will come soon enough. I really try and enjoy the stillness that is accessible to you at any time, that is within you. And check to see if there are any sounds that might be distracting you that are in your environment. Just allow the sounds to be there. Try not to go off and investigate with the mind. And then check and see what's arising in the mind. what thoughts might be arising. So whatever's coming up for you right now, just allow it to be there because I guarantee it will change tomorrow, particularly if you don't engage with the thoughts, don't create a story, don't follow a story, don't criticize or have opinions. You know those thoughts are just going to atrophy. They'll just disappear and new thoughts will arise. So you can be almost like a objective observer, watching what's arising with curiosity, kindness, compassion towards yourself. And then as in my Minga, Minga Rinpoche's analogy, you can just imagine you're sitting on the bank of a river and just watching that river flow on by. And then as long as you're on the bank of the river, you're free. So let's just briefly bring to mind all the people of our life, 
our children, our spouses, our loved ones, these people that we have deeply profound connections with. And then there's those folk in our life who we're not so fond of. And then there are the strangers. Um, kind of So bring all these people to your, of your life to your mind. And think that we're going to do this practice for all these people of our life. And by extension, all sentient beings. So think with this Vajrasapa practice, they're remembering there is no negativity that cannot be purified. And this purification process is basically a psychological one. So we create negativity with our mind. So we're going to create positivity with our mind instead. So we are we purify using the four opponent powers. So we start with the power of regret. So sincerely regret from the depths of your heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day, in this life, and in all of our past lives. And think of specific actions of both your body and your speech, and then in general regret more. And the reason to regret is based on this logic of karma. And we experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions. So having harmed others, we ourselves will necessarily experience suffering in the future. So we know from our present suffering, we don't want any more of it. So logically, it makes sense that we would pull out these karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for us. So think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows, because I do not want the future suffering. I'm sick of suffering. And also regret any anger, attachment, and the rest are the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech. These are our delusions. So think, what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So then we come to the power of alliance. And here we rely upon, we turn to, Buddha Vajrasattva, who rather than seeing as a higher power, we see as a doctor who has medicine that we can use to heal ourselves. So these are methods we can use to purify ourselves. And we're not asking or needing Vajrasattva to forgive us. It, I mean, that's just not helpful. We need to use his methods and rely upon his methods. So you can imagine Vajrasattva above the crown of your head. And you can also imagine this is your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit, your trusted mentor, however you see that person. So he's in this uh, made of radiant bliss or white light, sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon cushion. And this white lotus, although born out of mud, is untainted by that mud, just like our enlightened potential, which is born out of our delusions but yet untainted by them. And he has this beautiful radiant face. His eyes are long, shaped like lotus petals, and peaceful and full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your mouth, uh, your life. He has a sweet red mouth. His hair is red, and uh, his his mouth is red and very sweet. He has a his hair is black, sorry, and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom, and the right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion. And these being crossed represents a union of these two, which symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. <laughs> to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So in order to develop compassion, we also need to rely upon other be um, other beings, so the very beings we have harmed and those who have harmed us by developing compassion for them. So think particularly of people you've harmed recently 
and in the past, and then in general, all beings we have ever harmed since beginning this time. And then try and remember perhaps those who have harmed you and have compassion for them because the harm they've caused you is going to cause them suffering in the future. So make a strong aspiration to do this practice of purification for the benefit of all these sentient beings and think, I must purify for their sake. So now we come to the power of the remedy, and this is the actual medicine doing the practice of purification. And so we start with the body. And imagine Vajrasattva very compassionately sending powerful white nectar, almost like coming out of a hose quite forcefully from his heart, and this arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body, filling you completely. And it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you've ever had or ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid. And this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left, as you recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutrakaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasiri Mimpiyata Sawakama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawatata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutrakaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawasiri mimpiyata sawakama sutta me sitam shriyam karu hum ha 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 ho bhagavan sawatata gata vajrama me matsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva ahum pe ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dira mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawasiri mimpiyata sawakama sutta me sitam shriyam karu hum ha 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 ho bhagavan sawatata gata vajrama me matsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva ahum pe ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dira mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawasiri mimpiyata sawakama sutta me sitam shriyam karu hum ha 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 ho bhagavan sawatata gata Vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva ahum pe Ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita Dira me bawa sutokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa Anarakta me bawa sawasiri me piyata sawakama sutta me Sitam shriyam karu hum ha 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 ho bhagavan Sawatata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva ahum pe Ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita Dira me bawa sutokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa Anarakta me bawa sawasiri me piyata sawakama sutta me Sitam shriyam karu hum ha 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 ho bhagavan Sawatata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva ahum pe Ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita Dira me bawa sutokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa Anarakta me bawa sawasiri me piyata sawakama sutta me Sitam shriyam karu hum ha 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 ho bhagavan Sawatata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva ahum pe So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified. I just think there's no way you could do anything other than benefit others with the, with your body. So the moment someone sees you, hears you, smells you, gets a sense of you walking past them, it's a benefit to their mind. So next is a purification of speech, and Vajrasattva now very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra again, and again it arcs around and forcefully enters your crown, filling your entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of the body all the negativity of your speech, and this overflows and disappears into space, not one atom left. So you can just imagine, you know, when you fill a dirty glass in a sink and you fill it up with water, all the grunge in the glass tends to float to the top. So you can imagine it's this analogy is, is similar, this visualization is similar to this. And it just kind of overflows, except, you know, I've heard, a couple of the lamas say that it overflows quite forcefully. 
So you can imagine that all the gossip and the harsh speech and useless speech and lying and talking badly about others behind their backs, all of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you and overflowing as you recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Tita Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mebi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sutam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajamami Matsa Vajabawa Mahasamaya Sata Ahum Pe Am Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Tita Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sutta me sutam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajama me matsa vajabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe am vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dhira mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sutta me sutam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe Ambajasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dhira mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sutta me sutam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe Ambajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dhira mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sutta me sutam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe Ambajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dhira mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sutta me sutam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe Ambajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dhira mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sutta me sutam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan Sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So now just feel so happy that your speech is completely purified. Imagine it's not possible to do anything other than benefit others with your speech. So, so somehow every time someone talks to you and then maybe they're upset about something, you somehow you all of a sudden have the wisdom to know when to be quiet and when to speak, you know the right thing to the correct thing to write in an email that benefits somebody's mind because writing is speech. Same with texting. Anything you write on Facebook, in social media, imagine that all becomes of benefit to others. So now uh, Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful beams of light this time from his heart chakra. And the light arcs around, enters your crown and fills your entire being. So it's just the same as when you walk into a pitch black room and you switch on a light, that light instantly dispels the darkness. So as I've been saying this week, think of it more as dispelling darkness rather than turning on the light, bringing light into the room. So it's the same here. The moment the light from Vajrasattva's heart hits your heart chakra, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind so all your depression and attachment and neediness and grasping and bitterness and grudges, all of this instantly dispelled with this mantra and the light. Ambajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dhira mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa anarakta mebawa sawa siddhi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sutta me sutam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me matsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe Ambajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dhira mebawa sutokaya mebawa supokaya mebawa 
Ano recta me boa saba sidi me biata saba kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagawan saba tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya bhaja sapa dina patita dida me boa suto kaya me boa supo kaya me boa. Ano recta me boa saba sidi me biata saba kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagawan. Sawa tata gata vajama me mutza vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dida me boa, suto kaya me boa, supo kaya me boa. Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagawan. Sawa tata gata vajama me mutza vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Patita, Dido me boa, Zuto kaya me boa, Supo kaya me boa, Anarakta me boa, Sava sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, Sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagawan, Sava tata gata vajama me mutza vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, Ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, Dido me boa, Zuto kaya me boa, Supo kaya me boa, Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagawan, sawa tata gata vajama me mutza vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dida me boa, suto kaya me boa, supo kaya me boa, Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagawan, sawa tata gata vajama me mutza vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. So again, be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of all of our own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech, are totally purified. And think there's no space in your heart now for anything other than love and kindness and wisdom, and bliss, and compassion. So the next is the purification of the, even the imprints of negativity of the body, speech, and mind. So you can imagine light and nectar pouring into you, filling you completely, and eradicating even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your mind. Om Bajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajra Sapa Dino Patita Dido Me Boa Suto Kaya Me Boa Supo Kaya Me Boa Anarakta Me Boa Sawa Sidi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajama Me Mutza Vajabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Om Bajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajra Sapa Dino Patita Dido Me Boa Suto Kaya Me Boa Supo Kaya Me Boa Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagawan, sawa tata gata vajama me mutza vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dida me boa, suto kaya me boa, supo kaya me boa, Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagawan, sawa tata gata vajama me mutza vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dida me boa, suto kaya me boa, supo kaya me boa. Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagawan, sawa tata gata vajama me mutza vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dida me boa, suto kaya me boa, supo kaya me boa. Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagawan. Sawa tata gata vajama me mutza vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dida me boa, suto kaya me boa, supo kaya me boa. Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagawan. Sawa tata gata vajama me mutza vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita. Dida me boa, suto kaya me boa, supo kaya me boa. 
Anarakta me boa sawa sidi me piyato sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. So now feel you are completely purified, not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to your enlightenment have been removed. So now is the fourth step in the purification process is the resolve. And I always feel it kind of comes off the back of regret because regret implies it's not guilt, it's just that you want to do something about it. You feel sorry you've done something and then you just kind of, you want to do something. And so here we have an opportunity, we make a decision. I'm going to decide to not harm or to refrain from harming with my body, my speech, and my mind. So I'm not going to harm myself with negative self-talk, try and catch myself before I get into that, try and not harm others with my speech, try and not harm others with my body, my actions. So we can just think of something that we'd like to work on. Maybe it's only for a very short time. Maybe it's only 30 seconds. Maybe it's overnight while you're sleeping. So we just have to decide. We just have to make a decision that I'm going to start this process. And you'd be surprised how quickly it takes off. So now Vajrasattva imagines very delighted with us, really happy with this, your practice and wanting to merge with your mind, melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and think my teacher's body, speech, and mind, and Vajrasattva's body, speech, and mind, and my own body, speech, and mind are the same thing. And so now uh, Rinpoche recommends to meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness, there is no I, the creative negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma, and there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level you understand emptiness, you place your mind there for a little while, and we can think perhaps that all phenomena are empty, that do not exist from their own side. You can also think that perhaps the way things appear to me may not necessarily be the way they exist. So let's just dedicate all the merit and the positive energy you've created doing this purification to all living beings and think, may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And we'll just do a little prayer for his holiness, for his long life. May he stay with us for as long as possible. The wish-granting, wish-fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably uh, kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. O Tup Shu Chang Jin Jaham Kong Galloway Ten zing yong pel away, cones a dog poor zay, chog some cur way leg mon to a drug. Pa dog sog dulage, con do shag ten shog. And for the so Venerable One to use kindness exceeds out of all the conquerors, for those wanderers and far off places, especially the West, mindful of your loving concern for us in intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. Mm-hmm. And for Geshe Sherab, <clears throat> beloved teacher, leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. So there's a message here from Dani. Jeff Beck, a musician, passed away. Lisa Presley, most people probably heard, passed away suddenly. Adam Wright, rich, child actor, unknown cause, and Tatiana Patiz. Tatiana, oh, okay. So just think of those folk and maybe anyone else in your life who's struggling, maybe dedicate for them as well.